Deep inside a heavy steel fabrication shop, the real work never stops. It all kicks off with a worker running a handheld oxy fuel torch along a chalk line on a massive, thick steel plate, bright orange flame slicing through the metal, sparks raining down, molten slag dripping away as he carefully guides it around corners and curves with rock steady hands. He pauses to check the cut, knocks off the rough burrs and slag with a hammer and chisel, then keeps going. For the long, dead straight cuts, another guy sets up a proper straight edge guide with a tape measure, drops a track guided cutting carriage on it, lights the torch, and lets the machine roll, perfectly clean, perfectly straight curve every single time. He hand finishes the last few inches, clamps the freshly cut piece so it doesn't drop and cause chaos, then fires up a big angle grinder to smooth those edges silky. Any stubborn slag left. A couple wax with the chipping hammer takes care of it. He hits the surface again with the torch to burn off rust, follows up with a stiff wire brush until the steel shines, and finally runs the torch along the edge one more time to cut a nice deep bevel, because when you're welding thick plate, that bevel is what lets the weld metal fully penetrate and make the joint bulletproof. Meanwhile, across the shop, the same kind of grit and precision shows up on every bench, plates and rods getting bent under giant hydraulic presses, deep drawn into drums, curled on rollers, folded into boxes on press brakes, turned and threaded on screaming CNC lathes, ground to mirror finishes on surface grinders and belt sanders, pipes twisted into wild 3D shapes by CNC benders, excavator buckets getting new teeth hammered in and fresh reinforcement bars oxycut, clamped tight and tacked. On. Sparks, smoke, coolant, chips, and molten metal everywhere, every piece built tough enough to move the earth. Then, in a completely different world, those same hands head home, wash off the steel dust, and switch to gentle mode in the kitchen, one minute they're cracking a fresh egg into a bowl, whisking it with olive oil and a squeeze of lemon for a shiny liquid hair mask, the next they're mashing ripe avocado with honey into a thick, creamy green face mask. Same skilled hands, just trading roaring torches and 10-ton presses for a simple spoon and two ingredients that leave your skin and hair feeling brand new. From slicing through inch-thick steel with rivers of sparks to softly blending fruit and honey for your face, human hands can do it all, build machines that dig mountains or pamper your skin with stuff straight out of the fridge. That's the full range of making things, raw power on one end, gentle care on the other, and real skill running through every bit of it.